Hello. So today we're going to work with exercises, warm ups that help to loosen up the low back and then into the routine called the eight brocades and then into the Chi Lao Qi Gong form. So when we're looking at the low back and why it is tight, uh, it can be postural, it can be repetitive motion, it can be old injury. Um, the best way to look at why it's still tight is that it's protecting something. So we wanna give it time and we wanna be patient with it. And um, always move to what I consider like 60% of your full effort for the low back. Because sometimes when you overexert, then it tightens down to protect even more and that's not beneficial. So we'll work with some exercises today uh, that help with that. So a little bend in the knees. And first, what we're just gonna do is you're just going to bend the knees and see that how that knee bend, like if you, if you tip your tailbone back and then you can tuck it under. So from the side, it looks like this. So I'm tipping back on purpose and then tucking under. Tipping back and tucking under. We'll just do this several times. Great to do it first thing in the morning. Just start to get some blood moving through this tiny muscles along the spine. Good. So now we're going to lower down and for more range of motion in the groins, the low back wants to arch a little bit, but try not to let it jam. And then stand up and arms down. So just a few of these, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last few of these, really let your tailbone reach straight down when you're doing this. And you may feel that the low back stretches in a different way when you're going into the gentle squat. Great. Now we are going to work with one leg at a time. So we're just going to uh, just let the, hold on to something if you need to, you're just gonna let the leg swing. Just swinging, a little bend in the knee if you need to. And then in front. Again, about 60% of your effort is only is required. I'm not trying to kick it out as far as I totally can. I just want, really, the dynamic stretch is we just wanna get blood moving. Static stretch is when you're already warmed up and you can let things um, hold. So the other side, just back and forth first. And then across. And now the hip rolls. So I'm trying to keep my head still. So not leading with the head, because that's not gonna stretch the hips. That's gonna stretch the, a different part of your back. And switch, just a couple rolls. These are good to do all any time in the day. If you had to sit for a long period of time and when you go to stand up, it's a little, you're a little stiff, that's helpful. Good, okay. Now we're ready for the eight brocades. We um, center first by allowing the, the lift up. I'm lifting my heels up onto my toes and the hands lift just to the chest and then lower the heels, lower the, the hands. Into the first one, lifting earth to heaven. As I'm lifting my arms, I'm, it's like this arm motion is tightening up my whole front body, very, very strong abdomen and then tilt head look up remember more up than jamming back length shoulders broad look up head back to center and then exhale arms down inhale look up 
Shoulders broad, belly's still real strong. Try not to jam your low back. That's Ziggy, and she just found the bone. And head back and exhale. Down, inhale, look up. At the very top, you hold your breath very strong. Head back and exhale. Arms down, inhale, coming up and exhale, lower down. Okay, wider stance, sink, arms out. I'm gonna tilt the camera a little bit differently. Coming down is, just distorts some things. So, down, arms are out, bring your hand back. You're gathering with this energy gathering here and coming across. Now my hips are trying to stay forward and my shoulders are trying to go perpendicular to my uh, hips. So what I mean is don't drag this hip with your with your uh, shoulder, so to speak. Keep that hip back and then turn and then pull the arrow back or the bow back and the arrow and then exhale. Come around, pull and come around Oh, so it's isometric, really pushing. And then come around. Good, one more time each side. Strong legs, sink, pull back. This hip stays home. Yep, come around. This hip stays back here. And pull and stand, good. Whew. Your legs should feel that. You should feel like your your legs uh, were working there. And coming up and exhale. Lower heels, lower hands. So now with number three, feet are hips width, shoulder width is fine. Palms out, and you're stretching as far away as you can. And then once you get that stretch, then an easy turn of the head. Head back. Exhale back through, palms out and stretch. Stretching and then turn. Head turn only. Be watchful if you start to turn your chest. We don't want to torque the joints. We want to just swivel the neck. Head back and coming back through. Stretch away and turn. Turn back. Exhale back through, stretch away. Be belly strong, legs strong, buttocks strong, turn. Turn back, exhale. So we get all the large muscle groups stretch away, strong. This can really free up and ease those tiny little back muscles that think they need to hold. We transfer the strength somewhere else. And head back and exhale back through one more time. And turn. Should feel easy to turn your head. Don't force it. And come back through and exhale. Back through. Arms down. Lift up. And exhale. Lower heels, lower hands. We'll take a little wider stance with this. And we open. And then turn. Trying to look all the way behind you. The exhale, you just kind of feel like everything deflates. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale, front body strong, legs strong, buttocks strong, and turn the head. And exhale back through. Inhale, turn, exhale, inhale, everything strong, especially your shoulder blades, really strong and belly strong, look, and turn back through, what is not strong is your low back, no tension there, inhale, and turn, now what do you have in your mouth? 
weeks ago she brought me a baby turtle like the most perfect cutest I wanted to keep it so bad in my house but I'm not supposed to do that so it had this little it was a box turtle but it had still so small it had like all its little spine the little parts of its spine were bright orange it must be some kind of camouflage it's just adorable um, Go find that turtle. I want to say hi to it. So you go get that turtle. I'll give you a job. Okay, that was number four. I'll look behind. Now into number five. This is all about balance. Okay, so I'm going to take my shoes off because I'm on my rug. And um, if you can swivel your feet, that's great. Uh, if you can just swivel this way, swivel this way that's ideal but no big deal if you have to keep your feet up so it doesn't matter how low down you go it matters um, what your hips are doing so sink down sink down I'm down pretty low now I'm gonna go over to my right your left and now come through the middle swivel your feet and now come up and my hips are trying to get square to this knee. You have to bring this front hip around. If you don't, it'll just go in here. It's not wrong, it's just not where, what, what's gonna be the best situation to stretch your spine. So this one's different. This in yoga is a warrior too, and this isn't about your arching your back. When we try to um, stretch the spine, we, it wants to be um, parallel, or symmetrical rather. So now you arch up. And then exhale back through other side hips same distance this this knee exhale through inhale come up exhale through inhale up exhale through Inhale, come up. Exhale through. One more time. And exhale through. Inhale, come up. And exhale through. Inhale, come up. And exhale back through the middle and inhale come on up good inhale lift up onto my toes and then lower down okay that was number five number six is also a back extension so forward flexion is when you go forward extension is when we arch back so when we're working on getting new space, especially for the low back and neck, if we just always do what we've always done, it's just gonna stay jammed. So you gotta do something new. So that is what this helps us see. So first, you're gonna start with your hands onto your, onto your back and let yourself arch back. Now give a little bend in your knees so you can kind of feel like, yes, your back is arching, but it's not tight. It's um, strong, but not locked. So you're arching back, head back, maybe never, more up. And now exhale, and then we're going to form flexion. I'm hinging right here at my hips. I'm coming down. We're just gonna to come to the knees. And then here, my back is flat to the, to the ground. My arms are gonna come forward, stand, arch back. Remember, head back. Maybe never. More up. Bring your hands onto your 
Low back, stay here for a sec, squeeze, and then exhale down just to our knees. Stretch. And back. And then down. Up. Stretch up and back. And hands onto the low back, stay there for a sec. And exhale down and come to standing and exhale arms down great that was number six and we lift up and exhale lower down good into number seven it's called swinging fists with fiery eyes so here we are in our horse stance the feet are trying to be parallel and you're sinking low. So if I go really low, I, my chest wants to go forward. So you wanna do both. You wanna go low without doing this. You wanna be back here and then low, as low as you can go. So we're getting, we're sending a lot of blood through the legs when we do that. Down, okay, out. So it's slow motion until the very end and you as you're punching. Pull back. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Woo! Shake that cortisol. Shake that adrenaline out. Jump around. Bounce around. So that helps to get it come out of the cells. But we wanted to keep on moving and not get stuck in another cell. So that was six. Sorry, that was seven. <clears throat> Number eight, center in between. Down. And now eight is, <clears throat> you lift up onto the heels. I always say that. Lift up onto the toes, lift your heels, and then drop. Wouldn't be much of a drop if you lift up onto your heels. Drop. So there's that shake again. Everything shake. Right. Okay. So those are the eight brocades. And um, now we're going to focus on what, what I consider the, the second third of the Chi La Chi Gong form. So the first third of it, we are, it is focusing mostly on earth energy. We have this. Uh, we come around, we come back around. There's a lot of like grounding, bringing attention uh, to, the, to the earth energy. The second third is primarily up here. And we do, we do these first, then we do these, then we do this. So the second third, you are bringing more of the cosmic, more yang energy. Um, cosmic energy is yang, earth energy is yin. So yin is what gives us the strength, gives us the, the solid, um, helps your body repair uh, tissue and, and bones and, and rebuild. And then yang energy is functionality. Yang energy is also thought energy, uh, emotions. And it's that the magic, the cellular magic of when things should shift to this side of the cell membrane, that cell membrane, that's all yang energy. So we need a balance of both of those. Um, so we're going to do the, the form just up to the, uh, the end of the second third, I call it. So we'll begin. Remember legs together. We're, we're getting the left and the right kidney to become in a circuitry. If you have one side of your body, uh, it's always kind of sluggish or pain or stagnant, or one side feels really weak and deficient, this, the origins of that can be kidney energy, left and right kidney energy. Head touches sky, feet stand on earth. Body relaxes, mind 
expands. Mind is clear. Attitude is humble. Only harmonizing thoughts. Be quiet and respectable. Think space. Think body. Entire body is harmonized with chi. Flex the wrists, palms are to the ground, and we push out and then pull back. We are magnetizing energy to the earth, from the earth, setting up that two-way channel, earth energy to you, your energy to earth energy. Relax and now come around. Deliver chi to navel, big breath. Deliver chi to Ming Men. Think of a figure eight on sideways or on your back, and it's going like this around both your kidneys. Take a breath there. Breathe in and breathe out. And lift up. Come to the sides. Thank yourself for making time for this, giving attention to your physical body mind and your energetic body, spirit, soul, whatever you want to call it. Come out and deliver chi to your third eye. Palms up. So we brought up all that earth energy up and now you just pour down the excess, filtered through. Turn palms up and arms come overhead. Look at my wind time. Palms together. This is so harmonizing. I feel really scattered in the day. Just do this a couple times. Just do something like up and coming down, like three breaths. Amazing change. Out. Triangle. Flex. And push. Pull. Big shoulder roll. Shoulders forward. Up back, down. Don't forget about your legs. They're together, a little bend in the knees, low back broad and open. Open, close. Open, close. Open, and close. Open, come on up, or up, out rather. Three cycles this way. Push, pull, push, Pull, push, pull, vertical, collect chi, so you are giving, receiving. Some days you need to give more, some days you need to receive more. This balances that out. Inhale, come on up. Okay, pour chi into Bahue, the top of the head, big breath. Coming down here, we're washing the body, physical body, energetic body, clearing the mind. Hands will come to the navel center. Breathe in and out. Come around. Dantian, breathe in and breathe out. Bend the knees, coming down. Tuck the chin. Now here we're just going to come down the backs of the legs and come around just to the knees. Really work on this turbine. Lean forward, bend as low as you can, shift weight back. Up with the hips, forward with the hips. You wanna watch, it looks like this. Forward, down, back. I'm way back here and then I lift up, forward, down, back, and up. So it should feel this very unique stretch like in your groin and low back. So let's see, where were we? Turbines, and now we'll come up the front of the legs. Come up, get to the navel. It's like filling yourself with energy. Think of 
something you love to do, how it gives you energy. Like that same feeling of refilling, recharging yourself. And arms down. So that's the first third. A lot of earth energy, magnetizing and going around and pulling up. So now we connect with more yang, cosmic chi coming up and out. Okay, push, same shoulder rolls, pull back. So if we want the mid back to have more range of motion, really mindful of that low back. Good way to make the low back relax. One more of these, I think we did four, but that's okay. Make the lower abdomen strong. Horizontal, collect chi in and open. In, open. In, and open. Around, and push, pull, push, collect chi up and down slow motion up and down up and down turn palms up lifting up like a bucket of water just pouring back into yourself you've freed up all that energy into the in the shoulders and chest and back now coming down, hands will make contact with the third eye. And then come around. This point back here is called view vent. It's a great immune point. So press on this straight. If you have to look at a computer screen all day, press on this point often. Reach down in between the shoulder blades. And then up underneath the armpits between the shoulder blades. Hang out at Dao Bao. Thank yourself for making time for this. Go down to Ming Men, Gate of Life, Gate of Destiny. We come around to Ming Men, refill, recharge. And now down the front of our legs. So the knees is fine. I'm rounded, I'm really rounded here. I'm just trying to tuck my chin. Sometimes my head I see is lifted because I'm looking at the camera and thinking as if I'm talking to someone. <laughs> so I am, but not live. Go forward, down, back, and up. So my chin, I'd really like it to be tucked. Forward, down, back, and up. Forward, down, back, and up. Good. Hands around to the backs of the knees and slowly come up. Come to your low back. With that turbine of the legs, the more you can keep your legs together, the better. And when you roll up, legs strong and together. Come to your navel. And then arms down. So that's the second third. Second third of the Chi La Chi Gong form, bringing more energy down. So these are the new pants. I don't know if I've showcased them yet. They can also go down and they have elastics. So when I go outside, no critters can get up my, when I walk in the woods, no critters can get up my legs. And this is my tiger kimono. See it? I'm really, really happy with it. And my righteous tiger shirt matches perfectly. I mean, I like these times when nothing really is supposed to match, but I'm really happy that these are actually perfect. So I'm gonna send gratitude for my matching clothing today. <laughs> and I like my cow. So, I mean, so getting better than that. Thank you for joining me today. Um, thank you to my teachers. Thank yourself for making time for this. And have a great freaking day.